God is a grand monster. On another episode of Keeping Up with Queen P. So in today's vlog, we are preparing for school. I am on my way to get my hair blown out. I just washed it so that I spend less money at the salon, you know, because I can wash it myself. I look a bit rough, but like it's okay. It's fine. So yeah. I'm not gonna vlog like inside the walls I'm getting my hair done because like I'm shy like the lady is my mom's hairdresser she's so nice she's really nice she's amazing but like I have shy tendencies because like she has like this big energy you know and yeah my energy is so big but it's like it depends you know on the person so yeah I'm not that comfortable with her but this is the before let us go see what the after looks like see you guys in a bit but ladies and gents if you've experienced it can we talk about how hot that heat dryer is my ears were burning i could feel the heat getting to my scalp and that machine was literally sucking out the life out of me So my mom's hairdresser decided to rewash my hair which led to the price being a hundred dollars because usually just coming for a normal hair blow is seventy dollars and after rewashing my hair she proceeded to roll it in in order to stretch the hair out because my hair is relaxed however there was a bit of natural in the roots showing that's why my hair was a bit short in the intro video and then after we blow dried it, she GHD'd it in order to give it that silk press type of look. So I only paid for the braids, which was $125 because I was a bit on a budget. So I took the initiative to do my own hair because I know how to do my own hair. However, I called my cousin over to help me out with the partings because unfortunately I am unable to see the back of my head. It's the pro with another one. Oh my god, it's grandmaster.
God is grandma's stuff. It's the pro with another one. Oh my god, it's grandma's stuff. Hello there. I haven't spoken to you guys in a while. It is currently the third week of school. We're actually going to the fourth week of school. But let me know in the comment section how has it been going back to varsity and if you're in high school. How's school going? You know, how is the 2024 academic year going for you? On my end, I am not fond of my timetable. But anyways, without further ado, let us get into the stationery haul and see all the stuff that I got. So the first thing I got is four examination pads. Usually I used to use books. Let me actually show you my books. So I'll usually buy one 92 page books and then I'll write down the module names here, you know. But I just felt like having like three books in my bag was just very heavy and I also just feel like having exam pads are more convenient because I'm going to make folders for each module in like a whole big file I mean why I also did this is because I planned to make class notes which are the lecture notes and then my own personal notes and that takes me to the next item. I got a small stapler. It even sort of matches my dress because obviously I'm writing on exam paper, so I gotta staple out my stuff. Next on the agenda is these flashcards because, yeah, I've just learned that I need to make studying fun. And I also learned that I'm a visual learner and I've learned once in my life with cue cards before for history and i remember i got a really good grade so i was just like let me incorporate that not always write down these heavy notes but make it easier because the plan is to study smart not hard so definitely yeah and i plan to also like divide the colors on like the different modules that i have and then i got myself four black pens for the year um, I'm not borrowing any stationery out because I swear once you borrow people things they never bring it back and then also we got textbooks so one this is really thick two another big book three not that big four And that's a wrap. 
thank you for sticking till the end of this video and i shall definitely see you guys next time bye